Thanks for joining me. Today, I'm going to show you how I built this stand for my portable bandsaw. I'm going to take you step by step on how I built it. If you haven't already, please like the channel and subscribe. So let's get started. I was able to get this portable bandsaw at a really good price. I bought this fully knowing that I was going to build and mount it on a stand that would go on the tabletop. I chose the portable bandsaw mainly because I do not have the room for a full-size bandsaw. So this was my best option. Going into this, I did not have any set plans on how I wanted to build this. But I did have two things I wanted. I wanted to be able to use the materials I had at hand and also for it to be a simple design that once on a tabletop that I have the ability to clamp it down if needed. The materials I'm going to use is a one by one square tubing, eighth inch wall. I'm going to use a quarter inch plate that I have and I'm going to use a foot pedal I purchased when I bought the portable bandsaw. For the base of the stand I'm going to cut down the one by one square tubing and I'm going to create two sides to my base. The bottom of the base I made 16 inches, the top of the base I made 11 inches, and the uprights I'm making 8 inches. With all the square tubing cut out, I'm going to line up all my pieces, make sure they're square, I'm going to tack them in place. I will make two of these to form the bottom of my stand. With both sides tacked up, let's move on to the quarter inch plate for the top of the stand. The quarter inch plate I have is 10 inches by 15 and a half inches. In order to mount a portable bandsaw on the stand, I'm gonna to have to make a clearance for the blade to slide through. So to do this, I found my center of the quarter inch plate. Then the clearance I needed for the blade to sit on top was five inches. So I made a mark. I took my Yes Welder Cut 65 DS and I cut out my mark line. The plasma cutter made quick work of it and it was a perfect cut for the blade to slide through on one pass. The next thing for me to do is to mount my base to the quarter inch plate. I'm making sure the each side is square and I'm gonna tack it in place. I'm only tacking everything in place right now, just in case if I have to move anything around, I just have to cut the tacks out and I can move each one of these legs if needed. On the bandsaw, I took off the bottom guide, saving the two screws. So what I did was I lined up where those holes were in the bandsaw, drilled a hole in the quarter inch plate, and countersunk it so the screws would sit flush. These two screws will not be enough to keep the bandsaw steady on the stand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the bandsaw on the stand using the two screws. Luckily, there is a slit in the middle of the bandsaw. It lines up perfectly with the steel plate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure exactly where this lines up with the plate and I'm going to add a piece of steel that it locks into this slit. Between this and the two screws, it'll hold it nice and steady on the stand. This is the foot pedal I mentioned earlier. The type of foot pedal it is, is when you press it, it'll be on. When you let go of the pedal, it'll turn off. The bandsaw is steady enough that I'm able to use it to cut the quarter inch flat bar this flat bar is what I'm going to weld in place to go into the slit to secure the bandsaw onto the stand. All 
All right, I removed the bandsaw. I used a magnet to hold the piece of flat bar. I'm gonna tack it in place. I will test fit the bandsaw before I fully weld it in. With the flap disc, I'm also gonna clean up the welds, make it flush as possible so there's nothing to uh, get hung up on the bandsaw. Test fitting the bandsaw, it's nice and tight, fits perfectly, and it's definitely going to make it nice and stable. Since we now know everything fits nice and tight, I can fully weld the whole entire stand. With all the welds done, it's time to get the flap wheel and clean up all the welds and any sharp edges on the top of the stand. With the welds cleaned up, the only thing left right now is to prep and paint. I did purchase one other thing. I got one by one square plastic caps. Even though this is a simple build, it just kind of finished it off. With everything painted and all cleaned up, the only thing left to do is to mount the portable bandsaw. The way it's designed, all I have to do is if I want to remove it, to remove those two screws and the bandsaw slides right off. And there you have it. Everything's all mounted. The only thing left to do is try it out. One of the main reasons for this project is I have a future project coming up where I need to cut out aluminum and steel plate. This portable bandsaw build is going to work out perfect for what I need. As always, if you have any questions or comments or any suggestions on future projects, please let me know in the comments below. So there you have it, the portable bandsaw stand. It didn't cost me much. It was a nice, easy, quick build. And it's really going to help me out with this future project. So thanks for joining me. I hope to see you on the next video. If you haven't already, please like the channel and subscribe.